was this guy who thought he was above Country he was elected to lead He got his fame from his daddy He hid behind his lies And his hair it is so saddening He made so many promises I do the masses Across this great country of mine Then he got caught He bullied his own He should resign ultimately led to her resignation. Did she find additional evidence of political interference and pressure? Uh, did she find that she was lied to, had been lied to uh, by the Prime Minister or others during her time as Attorney General, but did she learn about it afterwards? If the Liberals have nothing to hide, then they should let her come back and remove the entire gag order they originally imposed. Is liberal staff pressured Jody to flip? But she held her head high and she quit. Integrity is something that liberals don't have since they were bought off by SNC Lavalette. largest cattle feeder operations just announced that it's closing its doors after 60 years. The company has three locations across southern Alberta and now 85 people are losing their jobs and Alberta farmers are losing a buyer who had capacity to finish off 100,000 head of cattle. And the company's CEO blamed Rachel Notley's carbon tax. So Jason Kenney, who is running for PC leader but who also is an MP in Calgary, raised the issue in the House of Commons as proof that the federal government should not proceed with a carbon tax of their own. Now you are not going to believe the response from Prime Minister Trudeau and the rest of the Liberal caucus. Just watch this. Today brought yet more job losses for Albertans. Dozens losing their jobs at Western Feedlots with its closure a key part of the Western beef industry. Company President Dave Platt says that recent government policies like Bill 6 and the carbon tax contributed to the decision to close their operations. So with yet more proof 
that carbon taxes kill jobs. Will this government please reconsider its ideological determination to impose a job-killing carbon tax on Alberta? Prime Minister. I take this opportunity to remind the member opposite that he is actually still in Ottawa and not in Alberta yet.